wee video on how to use um, MSI Afterburner and Windows Movie Maker to cap 720p videos um, that are reasonable quality and file size to upload to YouTube. MSI Afterburner installed and launched. You need to make sure in settings that on screen display support is on. Uh, I don't worry about any of these settings, but if you go into more there, on screen display support off there, on here. This means you can see uh, and set up things like your frame rate. You see there, frame rate, show an on screen display, GPU temperature, an on screen display. That's what I use. So next you want to go into video capture. I have F5 set for my uh, video capture button. You can just assign that by pressing any button or hovering over it. Uh, use the video format MJPEG compression. This gives you a reasonably small file size for capturing and no real impact on your system when recording. Uh, use 85% quality. Uh, frame size 16.9720p. Reason being is that Windows Movie Maker does not like 16.10 videos. Uh, you end up with borders around your videos when you use that. And uh, I play at 1900 by 1200, which is 1610, and I capture at 720. I uh, cap the frame rate for the video at 30, because this matches YouTube um, no uh, settings. It doesn't play a maximum more than 30 frames per second in YouTube, and the 720 is a, a standard HD format. Uh, frame rate, li frame rate limit disabled in games, so my game runs at its natural frame rate. I'll maybe be capturing at 30, but the game will still be running at 60, 70, 80. Uh, stick a folder where you've got to cap your videos to. And really, this kind of stuff here is if you want to, if you've not got a USB headset, you can set this kind of stuff to record your own in-game voice. But as for some other time. So that's all done. Okay. Start your game up. Record a bit of video. Um, then launch Windows Movie Maker. Go to your video sources. That's the little one I captured earlier. Fire it in. Uh, do whatever editing stuff like that you want to do in it. You can play the video full screen. But they may say can't be a twin frozer on it. Eh? Uh, you hear Big Sam talking away there. Um, you can split your videos. Split it there. Remove that start bit. Add credits and stuff like that kind of stuff. But you can figure that out yourself. When it comes to actually rendering the video and uploaded, publish movie, YouTube, 1280, I'll just cancel that down, it's a bit quick. Publish movie, YouTube, choose your settings. Obviously, if you've capped uh, 1920 by 1080, which would be uh, 1080p with the, the settings, and you could upload it that. You can see there, this original video was 910 meg. And the estimated file size is 110, so that's a reasonably small upload. Click on that, send in your YouTube account. Change the title. Fire in description. Fire in tag separated by comments. These are all editable in your video manager after you upload it. Gaming, public, publish. It takes a few minutes to save the movie, then it will start uploading to YouTube. When on 10 meg, wouldn't expect that to take more than 10, 15 minutes at the very tops to uh, upload. Alright, fingers crossed you got that guys and nice and easy video uploading of your gaming. Ta-ta!